Have you ever run into the problem that your crochet shapes, whether you're doing intarsia or fair isle technique, are just coming out wonky? How can you take your crochet shape from this to this? I'm Wendy and that's what I'm going to show you in today's Fix My Crochet video. You've probably noticed if you've been crocheting for a while that the shapes on your crochet don't always turn out quite the way they look on the chart. So for example, a chart like this actually comes out looking more like this. So when I try and make a straight line or a rectangle shape, it ends up kind of meandering up the work. The reason that happens has to do with the structure of crochet. So when you are crocheting, as you know, the loop on your hook becomes part of the next stitch. Which is why if you're switching colors, you have to switch colors in that last pull through. Because that, in my case, purple loop becomes part of the next stitch. And if I wanted to change after two purple stitches, I'd have to switch to white at that point. But even if you switch colors like that and you keep your threads neatly on the back of your work all the time. Why is your straight line coming out like this? Well, it has to do with the fact that the top of the stitch actually doesn't line up with the main part of the stitch or the legs of the stitch. So when you make your top part of your stitch, it actually sits a little bit to the right. I'll show you in another way. So on my chart, my stitches line up nicely like that, all in nice vertical rows. But in reality, cro crochet doesn't work like that. What happens because your top part of your stitch is a little bit offset from the legs of the stitch, it ends up coming out a little bit like this in reality. Which is why my straight line or my rectangle comes out looking kind of jagged on the sides. And also why if I have a nice diamond shape like this, it comes out looking something like this. Where the left hand side is fairly even, but the right hand side is pretty messy and jaggedy. And that's because the offset that we see on our straight line crochet, or our vertical crochet, is magnified even more on an angled motif like that. So can you go from this to this and straighten out the edges? The answer to that question is mostly. We can compensate for a lot of it in many cases, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So as I mentioned, when we have a nice straight chart like that, everything lined up vertically and symmetrically, we end up with a wonky shape like that. That's not very tidy on the side. The solution is to change up our chart a little bit. So instead of doing this chart, 
which is symmetrical, we need to do this one where it steps up alternately. So on the left hand side it steps up on the second row, on the right hand side or the facing side, the front side, it steps up on the third row. And you can see that they alternate. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. And that's how you can get a much neater finish like this. It works for a triangle too. You can see here on the bottom. What I've done to make my triangle chart is the same idea. It steps up by two on one side and then on the second and fourth on the other side. It doesn't work quite as well for a small diamond shape. So to get this shape, I've made this kind of a chart. It's counterintuitive, but it works. So you step up by singles on the left leaning rows and by doubles on the right leaning rows. And that helps to compensate a little bit for the natural lean or offset in the crochet stitches. You do get a little bit of jaggediness on your edges with this method. It works better when you have a two row pattern like in this diamond or in this triangle here where it goes up in double rows on each side but they're just offset from each other. I will post a PDF of this chart in the links if you would like to have a closer look and if you have more questions that I could address in a Fix My Crochet video please put those in the comments and subscribe and hit the notifications button so that you can see when another video comes up. I really appreciate you joining me for this video today.